Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Did you know that you can set a default song in Studio One that opens up every time you start the application? If you have like a regular workflow and you want to get to your template straight away, this might be something worth looking into. So here we go. So here in Studio One 6, we can just go to new and create a new song, project or show if you're in Studio One Professional, otherwise you're sticking with the Studio One song. Project would be the mastering environment that we have in Studio One and show would be for performing live gigs. And each of these can be made into a default file so that every time Studio One opens up, you can start right away with that particular template. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new Studio One song here, click OK. And now I can just drag and drop a couple of effects that I'm using all the time uh, onto effects channels. For example, I could have a reverb already prepared like so, and I could have, um, you know, maybe an open air. It's a slightly different flavor of reverb. I could also have the mix verb in here and the analog delay. And you can dial that into your favorite presets that you use all the time. Of course, we could also apply, you know, an equalizer to all of these very easily, just select all of them by holding shift and then find something like the pro EQ and drag that in like so and now we're adding you know multiple instances of an EQ that we can also adjust here so you could dial that into your favorite settings you can of course also add instruments with sounds that you're using all the time so that you can get started making music right away I really love the warehouse tag preset inside of the impact XT so I could just go ahead and drag that onto its own track it's ready to play and um, yeah, if I want this to open up every time I start Studio One, there's just a few simple steps that I need to follow. First of all, I would go ahead and click on File and Save, like you normally would. And once we've done that, we want to utilize a brand new keyboard shortcut that we have in Studio One, which is Show the Song Folder. So you find that if you go to Studio One and Keyboard Shortcuts, and then search for uh, Finder, or Explorer on Windows, and you should find under Media, Show Folder in Explorer Finder. There's multiple ones, but this one finds the folder no matter if you're currently in a song, project, or show. So this would be a keyboard shortcut that works all the time. Just temporarily assign that to anything that you want. In my case, I go for zero because that's usually not assigned to something significant. Go to apply and OK. And now when I hit zero on my keyboard, you can see how my finder or on Windows, it would be Windows Explorer, is opening up and shows me the direct location of this current song file, which is super handy, of course. Copy that with Command and C on a Mac or Control and C on Windows, and then go up one directory can do that, for example, by clicking here in the path bar. Just go to your main song directory in this case. Otherwise, you would go to your project or show directory if you're creating defaults for that. So once we're here, we can just hit Command and V on a Mac or on Windows Explorer, it would be Control and V to paste that. And now all that's left to do is just rename this to default. All right, fantastic. Now we're almost there. The only other thing left to do is to go to Studio One's preferences right here and under general and the general tab you can select what Studio One should do when it starts up. Change that from do nothing to open default song project and show hit apply and OK. And now every time I start Studio One I'm going to start out with this exact template it's going to open up right away and hopefully this is useful if you like to have a starting point as soon as you open up the application. Thank you for watching.